Hello everyone, Mr. Merkage here and today I'm going to be showing you part 2 on how to create the login system and what we're going to be doing is just actually creating the code which will allow us to connect to the database check if what we're entering to the text box is correct then login us in um, for the, reg the register form we'll do that next video which should be the last video in the series just a short series because I got asked it a lot um, so yeah let's get into it uh, we would have to use register to create sort of username and password for us to log in but if you watch last video I created a uh, a test details by using insert up here so we didn't have to create the register form um, so if you haven't done that go ahead and do that because we will need to use that for this video and then you just want to double click the login button which because this is going to control everything um, but inside the form before we start we actually need to go to project and add a reference uh, and I have let me browse I've got it on my desktop it's basically uh, mysql.data.dll I will put this in the description for a download because you will need this and once that's added as a reference you want to just come to the top of your pro uh, code and you just want to type imports my sql oh crap not, not microsoft mysql dot data dot my sql client and leave that like that now that allows us to uh, do everything with mysql uh, and again before we even do anything with the button we need to create a few things or declare a few things uh, so you want to type dim uh, let's call this my SQL on short for connection as my SQL connection and we also need a command we can do my make things shorter and not less confusing we'll just call cmd command as uh, my sql command get confused here and we also need the reader we can just call this dim reader as my sql reader and make sure that's lowercase q and l data reader what have I done so that's that we declared a few things these are what we're going to be using to create a connection call commands and then reading stuff so now we're ready now in the actual button code we want to create a try uh, and instead of having this as an exception we want to have this as a mysql exception like that uh, and inside this try we are just going to do or well, we, we want to create a connection obviously so my we've got SQL con we'll use our thing what we declared up here uh, dot open so we're going to open a connection or at least try we want to do cmd dot connection is equals to my SQL con and underneath here we want cmd dot don't worry I'll explain this after let me just type it out command text is equal to right this is where we need to allow or tell it what we want to do what to get so in our database we've actually got ID, username, password and email so we want to select because we only want the username and password we want to just select username and make sure the capitals are how you put them and how everything's typed 
we want to select username and password from uh, the table I called it user but if you called the table something else we put that there and where username is equal to uh, and now we need the text box which should just be one and two uh, username is equal to text actually because it's a string we need to a single one, a double one, a single one. If you can see that, and we just need to do and text box one dot text like that. Hopefully, that's not too confusing for you. So basically, the way we do that is because we don't want this bit to be part of the string. So you need to use the speech mark and a single speech mark so it knows that you want a break in that string now after that we want and password it's a little confusing but I will go over it afterwards uh, equals to the same thing again and we just want to do it with text box to dot text and also we want the and speech mark and a single speech like that and the final one there so that should be that and underneath here we've done the command the connection oops come down the line we want reader is equals to cmd dot execute not end execute but execute reader like that. Now, under this, we want an if statement. If reader dot has rows, so it's checking if uh, anything's in the database or our table within the database. Then we want to show the tool. Um, we create a new form really quick, so we can just. demonstrate that we call this tool so we'll just do tool dot show and underneath here me dot close and this is just to um, shut shut the login form and show the tool so whatever you want to display if they're logged in you put here and underneath here we want um, an else message box dot show and this is where you'd have your little message saying details are incorrect like that that's it for the try and if there was an exception we just want message box dot show and inside here we can just do x dot message so if there's an error it will tell us what it is according to the MySQL and underneath here we just want to do finally we want to close our connections my SQL con dot dispose and we want to do the same for all three so we've also got the reader dot dispose and the command and that should be that so let's try this out hopefully I didn't miss anything out uh, also we'll just quickly press the register button and type register show and then underneath that me dot close and also if we go to the register form and press cancel we'll just do form one dot show 
and then me dot close once more. So let's start this up now and hopefully we got everything right. Actually, I forgot something. Really silly mistake. I'd even select where we was going to connect to. So uh, we want to create uh, my SQL con uh, is equal to a new my SQL connection. Just so we create a new new connection, and then we want command is equal to new my SQL command so you sort of understand what I'm doing and we'll also want to type my SQL on dot connection string and this is where we're going to be typing the server so we've got server is equal to now we want to grab from that email that they send you I'm gonna grab that. You can pop that in there. Make sure you put a semicolon at the end. Uh, and we also want the user ID, and that is here. And it also needs the password for the database. Is that? And it also needs the database name. But if you use MySQL, the free version, it will just be the same as your ID. So grab that, put it at the end like that. And we should be good to go. So now let's try it. So we got our username. We called it test. And the password was password. So if we log in, there we go. It logged us in, but we need to go to properties. And the shutdown mode is when the last form closes, not when the startup form closes. Uh, so if we save that, launch it up again. So we've got test and password, login. There we go, we're logged in. Now if I close that, start it again, if I put in some invalid things, say if I typed in pass uh, worth, if I missed the D, log in, details are incorrect. So yeah, it's actually connecting to our database here, checking if this info is right, if it matches, logs in, shows what you want it to show if not, and also let's just test the register cancel there we go now there's a lot of things to make it neater and stuff but I'll be covering this in the next tutorial uh, that was just the basics of connecting to it and logging in so if I just go to it so basically what we did was create a new connection connect the server uh, and then when the buttons pressed we open the connection we select the username and the password or we they, like it finds it in the database and if it has the rows which if there's a match then shows what it is so if whatever we entered is in the row then obviously we're correct else we're not correct so details are wrong um, this bit here will just if if the server for some reason goes offline or there's some sort of error uh, if we try to log in this message here will show us what's wrong and then after we've logged in and stuff uh, ended the trial we want to shut the connections because we don't want to leave them open we cause some problems and yeah we also just showed how to open this register form uh, and for the register is what I'll be showing you next time um, so yeah if you did enjoy it please be sure to like and comment and don't forget I left everything in the description for you and so yeah that's it really I'll see you next time